Again, we're dealing with heat that is not only seven degrees above where we're supposed to. Sorry about that. Had my microphone on mute. Didn't mean to do that. Anyway, 97 out there today in Waco. 90 out there uh, as uh, where we're supposed to be. And again, we're flirting with those records once again. Started off today at 73, which while that's comfortable, yes, it's not where we're supposed to be for this time of the year either. And that is indicative of that humidity moving back in. So yes, it's 97, but it felt like it was 101, 102. 98 in Brazos Valley, or as my wife said earlier today, at least it wasn't 105. And I suppose there's truth in that statement. However, again, when you compare it to the averages of 90, again, we're well above where we're supposed to be for this time of the year. And it is feeling hot across the area out there right now in the 10 o'clock hour, still in the mid and upper 80s. And again, that humidity in place with those southeast winds that's going to keep us from being able to cool down very quickly or very efficiently. So expect a warm night as we head through the next several hours and into tomorrow morning winds again out of the southeast, but they're breezy and that's helping to pump in that moisture a little bit better. 13 miles an hour right now in Temple and Marlin 10 miles per hour currently in College Station and with that our dew points again elevated close to 70 degrees dew points last week. Remember before the rains came last week when it felt comfortable outside? Our dew points were in the 50s. We're up now close to 70, and once you start seeing dew points over 70, that's when you really start to feel it out there. And again, those feels like temperatures are actually about two or three degrees warmer than what the actual air temperature is. And that's going to be, again, the case tomorrow. So when those temperatures are back into the upper 90s, yeah, it's going to feel like it's 102 or 103 across the area. Clear skies out there right now. So with all that moisture in the air, we just can't you know, manifest that into any rain at the moment. And part of that is because of that high pressure ridge that is currently situated over Texas right now. You see that ridge there. You can see the wind patterns there on our little arrows here. And you see these storms developing as they go through the Mexican highlands there. But again, just can't uh, turn into anything for Texas because of that high pressure system that is in place. So where is our next rainmaker? Well, right now it's taking a vacation in the Pacific Northwest. Here is a low pressure system in the upper levels currently parked over uh, the border between Washington and Oregon, but it will start to scoot southeast over the next few days. And as it does so, it's going to come close to Texas. And as it makes its way past, we'll pop up a few chances for us to see some showers and should drag a cold front through that should bring us back to normal. Unfortunately, that's a few days away for the next couple of days. We're just dealing with humidity. We're dealing with heat. As you see temperatures back into the mid and upper 90s, you saw from the last chart, it is going to be oppressive humidity here over the next couple of days. So even though it says 96, yeah, it's going to feel like it's 101 or 102. That stays with us for at least the next three days. But then by the weekend, we start to see that system make its way closer to Texas brings up those rain chances and a possible cold front could have us back right around 89 or 90 as we start next week. We'll be right back.